like most humans. You enjoy receiving letters. You enjoy correspondence. Walk to the street. Open your mailbox. Inside, you find a coupon for a salon. Consider your satisfaction with your current hair arrangement. Reach into the mailbox again. You find a combination shampoo and conditioner sample. Reach into the mailbox again. You find an advertisement for life insurance. You begin to feel drowsy. Deeper into the mailbox, you find a calendar. It is for a year that has yet to happen. You add it to your inventory. Deeper into the mailbox, you find a shoe. It does not fit your foot. Inside the shoe you find a magazine. You do not recognize the styles of fashion photography inside. It is a teen fashion magazine. You begin to feel sleepy. Inside of the magazine, you find a postcard. One side of the postcard is blank. You flip it over. The other side of the postcard is blank. You flip it over. And the third side is blank. You flip it over. Now you are asleep. Now you are ready for another dream. With your dream guide. Friend. This is the letter dream. Astronauts have returned from the heavens and news correspondents wearing raincoats follow them around the country. It is a storm of astronauts all of them dropping into neighborhoods, creating puddles, knocking on doors, delivery mail, and packages from heaven. You watch them on television. You look out your window, wondering when the storm of astronauts will visit your neighborhood. You think about the people who might send you a letter. You close your eyes and imagine all of the people in heaven that might want to send you a package. There is a knock at the door. You answer the door. A stranger stands at the door. He asks for a donation the community lake. The stranger holds out an empty glass. You think the stranger is insane. But, a tangle occurs in your eyes. You take the glass. You cry, and let your tears drip from your nose into the glass. In the moment, you are only tears and the glass. Then the moment passes. The stranger thanks you for your donation and walks away. What does this part of your dream mean? A natural thing will happen, as natural things are meant to happen, and it might be the only thing that can happen because it is natural. Do not question it. Let your person experience this natural thing. Be a puppy to it, and wag your tail. Do not overthink your tail. It is an emotional propeller. Fast times need a happy tail. Others, a limp tail. Now, an astronaut stands at your door. It is Carl the astronaut. Carl delivers a letter from your great great aunt, whom you have never heard anyone speak of. Though it is easy to imagine that someone was your great great aunt, you ask Carl. Are you sure this is for me? Carl nods and the movement of his helmet makes you think of the meditative pattern of flashing ambulance lights. The envelope is brown and stiff. You smell the envelope and smell nothing. Your name and address is written in cursive. The exact denomination of the stamp is hard to determine, as it is both written in waves and particles. But a flag is on the stamp. The flag moves in both waves and particles. Walk outside. Flags are everywhere. You are now full of national pride. Your own personal national pride. When you wake, research the steps needed to become recognized as a nation person by the United Nations. 
There will be a shipping and handling charge to process your application, payable only by money order. Research the various prices of money orders in your area. As a nation, person, you now feel large and full of agriculture. You could be the breadbasket the world has been waiting for you are a field between lines of trees and gravel roads a field the color of dried sunday in the field of you pairs of shoulders grow they sprout up through your soil thousands maybe more it would take a day to count them all they are more than crops they are shoulders they grow with necks that slender upward to a point and curl down with wide fan blade leaves tomorrow i will uproot them and pile them onto carts and ship them to another state where they will be processed and eventually stuffed into pillows but today on harvest eve cars on the road beyond the field unload with tourists the tourists have waited for today and empty their cars parked along the road to walk through the rows the many acres of you the shoulders become what is required for the tourists if they need fat shoulders then it is fat shoulders plumped and tanned by the sunday or it is thin and bony shoulders with firm ridges to be speckled by the toe marks of birds or it is shoulders bursting with fever or it is shoulders made to absorb whiskers and all shoulders are pillows all shoulders are for sleeping the visitors wander your acres step between rows searching for a familiar curve of flesh when they recognize something they settle pat the soil and make it firm for blankets those that brought wigs hang them from the stalks so the hair runs down the neck and slides into their mouth or nostrils there is a set of shoulders around which a crowd forms they template because there are those shoulders that can remind us of everyone people lie down in the soil facing each other sharing a neck stock between them they are unable to say anything worth saying to each other so they instead say things like this shoulder is like cotton pants and this shoulder is like a drive through a window and this shoulder is like against your face and this shoulder is like error and this shoulder is like yes and this shoulder is like shoulder now we interrupt your dream for the mayor of the community lake stream check your shoelaces they are untied knock on a door it does not open knock on another door the door opens say hello i am collecting donations for the community lake hand over the collection glass a donation of tap water and a twig is handed back to you return to the community lake empty the collection glass Feel the hum of the water as it grates the collection water and twig. Check your shoelaces. They are tied. Watch the lake water conduct a ceremony for the collection water and twig. Notice a bone asleep on the bed of the lake. Remember the mayor of bones. Watch the collection water become lake water and the collection twig become a lake twig. Feel blessed by the invention of ceremony. Now, we return to your dream of you as a field. When the sun yawns, I bang on a metal bucket. I walk between the rows of shoulders. The sound of my drum is short and falls around your soil. I bang above sleeping heads, waking the people who rise and collect their draperies. 
Jay Hayes collects in the air, dirt dropping from the tourists' clothing. As they shuffle back to their cars, some of them cry. As they leave, some offer money to stay the night or to let them dig up the shoulders next year. I tell them we'll be here soon enough in the dark. I wander the field and look for you. I dig you up and look for a shoulder with deep bridge, like a clavicle, letting moonlight swoop down toward the soil. That is where I lay your head for the evening. You press your face tight into the shoulder. The ridge of your nose flattens against skin, still warm from the sun. You smell wax and smoke, and think of emergency candles, kept in the kitchen under the pot holders, wide and thick, falling out of the box, like chalk, cinched wicks leaving, black lines on your palms. Tomorrow, in the morning, when you rise, you will need aspirin, and coffee. You will need to stretch your back straight from sleeping on the ground in your dream. Do not clean your fingernails. Keep the dirt there for the day. It will help. Dream dirt is fortunate and denotes that you will soon enjoy a visit from a long absent friend. Now, you remember the letter you received from your great great aunt. You remember that you still haven't read it. The envelope is brown and stiff. You smell the envelope and smell nothing. Your name and address is written in cursive. The exact denomination of the stamp is hard to determine as it is both written in waves and particles. But a flag is on the stamp. The flag moves in both waves and particles. You open the letter. It reads, Dear you, if no one told you how beautiful of a being you were today, then I am telling you right now that you are a beautiful being. Now, you are a beautiful being in a coffee cup of soil. I water you, then place you in the sunlight. You become a beautiful bean plant. I transplant you into a pot because you grow into a beautiful bean plant too large for a coffee cup. You thank me by growing more beautiful beans of you. I thank you and run an experiment on the beautiful beans you grow. One of your beautiful beans becomes the controlled bean. I whisper thank you to the controlled bean every hour. One of your beautiful beans becomes bean one. I whisper I love you to bean one every hour. One of your beautiful beans becomes bean two. I whisper you are beautiful to bean two every hour. The experiment is a great success and the beautiful beans grow into beautiful bean plants. I pick beautiful beans from them and repeat the experiment for each plant. You are every beautiful bean plant. I wake up in an indoor potted field of you. You are every beautiful bean and I give you away to my neighbors and other members of the community in handfuls. And now you will need to speak to 10 beautiful bean plants and then you will wake up to be a beautiful human being in the world. You say to the first bean plant, you are made of an amount of strength I can't count but want to wad into a knot. And to the second bean plant, I think about the walls of your face. And the third plant, I now wish windows everywhere for you. You begin to awake. At the fourth bean plant, you say, stay awake for cool architecture. At the fifth plant, you say, I will fill every square of the waffles with preserves and think of you. At the next plant, I want to sit with you in my office and listen to a thunderstorm meditation CD. And to the next, you say, in your garden, by yourself, remember the solid golden core at your center. You are almost awake now. 
to the eighth plant, you whisper, throw your little hands up and watch them fly away. And to the next plant, there are lenses, there are lights. To the final plant, you have made it. You stand taller now. You are full of the accomplishment, but you are the final plant and all of the plants. Now, you are awake. Now, you are ready for another day. This has been the letter dream with your dream guide. Friend, dream guides are written and recorded by Chan Redden.